I finally updated to macOS Sequoia. I, I am on 15.1.1. Um, apparently there's still another update and I'm trying to use Xcode. And this is the first time since I think like the first or second beta, I've been able to enable the predictive code completion model. This doesn't work if you install Sequoia on an external SSD. It did in the past and then Apple locked it down. So the only way to get this is to run Mac OS directly off of the laptop or Mac's internal hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up, hit download and install and type in my password and we will be good to go. If I can type and talk at the same time, I'm not sure. Okay, so it's gonna relaunch Xcode. Then it's going to start downloading those things and we will hopefully be good to go. There they go. So now it's, whoops, lost it. It's a little NS panel here. So if you click away, it actually disappears or actually I'm, I'm clicking in the background. So finders getting activated. Um, <laughs> I just did a video on how to fix the desktop so I could right click and it wouldn't um, hide everything. So if you want to watch that video, I'll have a link down below for that video. And I hope you enjoy Xcode. Okay, so predictive code completion model is now enabled. Now, I didn't have great results with this last time on a demo project. Let us see. Oh man, I got something in my eye. Okay, so predictive code completion model has downloaded. Let's actually check it out, see if it's any better than it was in my first beta experience with it uh, a while back this summer, all right? So you're gonna wanna not do predictive code completion with a simple app. So we need to start with something a little bit more complex. Maybe my super easy slides is complex enough. I have no idea what it's gonna suggest to me. Um, but let's check it out. So I'm gonna go into preferences with commands, comma, and then under text editing, and then under editing, there is a predictive code completion. Now, careful on checking or unchecking this. I think every time you check, uncheck this, it like deletes the model, and then you have to re-download it again if you recheck it. Um, so if you don't like it, you can disable it, but try it before you start clicking around in here. Okay, uh, I don't even know what I wanna do right now. Um, I, the last thing I tried was using ChatGPT to suggest some things, like what will this suggest? I mean, is it just gonna suggest like nothing useful? It's like, oh, you could add padding, yay. Wait, oh, it started to do something. Uh, I didn't wait long enough. So here it's, it's recommending I add bottom padding. I don't know why, um, it's not appropriate, so. <laughs> um, Maybe if I was actually writing something, I don't even know what I would write though to really leverage it. I'm just afraid of it getting in the way. So um, what if I wanted a button? something like this. And if I just wait, it's like, what's it gonna suggest? Or can it not parse my code yet? Let's wait here. Maybe it'll insert something. Will it write my code for me? Probably not. Um, nothing is being suggested. Okay, do I need to save? Like what triggers? I thought like little delays might trigger it. Um, toggle. it would actually have to be something like view model dot settings dot display ID equals that's an awful suggestion. Yeah, so let's, select, let's set a new property to full screen. Like that makes sense. Maybe, no, it should be like get current display ID. No, 
No, it should be like get next display ID. Okay, so if I had something like that, and then I put in a function down here, function get next this, it went away. Did I do it wrong? Get enter does not complete. Okay, let's try this again. Get tab. That's not the right setting. Um, full screen is a Boolean. So that makes no sense. Um, so as we can see, like, I don't know, what's the point? I feel like I have a fair amount of code in here. It's not helping me write new code. It's trying to suggest something that doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to say this feature does not work like you expect. And it's probably a big distraction as you're developing because this is not even a good suggestion. I'm trying to add a new property. I haven't added the property yet. And it's making up things. I think, do I have a property? I might have a property. Let's double check. I have, no, I don't have a property right now. I had an experimental version that had the property and it is gone. Okay, so Will it give me different suggestions once I do this again? View model dot settings dot. <laughs> what is that even doing? Okay, it's like, what's the point? I'm gonna turn it off. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'm gonna disable it. And so now, crashed Xcode, because it's like, ah, I'm in the middle of, I'm in the middle of suggesting something and you turned me off. What do I do? I'll crash. Makes sense. Okay, so if we go back to editing, uh, we see that it is off. I think if I click this, I disabled predictive. I don't even know if I'm spelling right. Predictive code completion while it was suggesting a bad completion. Hit reopen. All right, so here it's gonna to ask to download it again. So it deleted it and now it has to re-download it. I don't want it, so I'm just gonna say no and I'm gonna keep it off. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. I need to undo some changes and I will see you in the next video.